All right, here's the Band-Aid. Um, this one, we have to think of uh, two extrusions. So there's kind of this little skinny part of the Band-Aid right here that we'll do. And that'll be kind of the base of the Band-Aid, and then we'll do sort of the bandage pad portion as well. All right, so let's come over to Onshape. Let's start a sketch on the top plane. And let's go ahead and make a rectangle that's gonna kind of represent, let's do a center point rectangle. It'll kind of represent the whole Band-Aid-ish, right? All right, so now what we have to do is you have to first round off the, well, actually, let's go ahead and make a um, the rectangle a, a width of 2.625. So that's this dimension, 2.625. And then the height over here, 0.8125 is the other dimension, 0.8125. Okay, so that's good. We have to put like this kind of like arc on here. Um, so that arc kind of comes out at a, uh, its farthest point is 0.1875. So what we'll do is we'll do a three-point arc here. So what we're going to do is we're going to here I'm going to zoom in. Let's let's do this side first. We'll come down here. We know it begins at this point. We know it ends over here, and then it, it kind of jumps out this way, right? And we'll just kind of wing it right now, and we'll use a dimension. Kind of need to put a point here. Maybe we can we've got to have kind of like the midpoint of this line. So perhaps we need to find where that midpoint is of this line. You see how it, it shows up in green? I'm just going to use a point right here to make sure I know where the midpoint is. All right, now I can dimension off that midpoint. I can say from here to here is a certain distance. All right, and that distance is going to be this 0.875 distance. So we need to put that in 0.875. Double check that. Oh, it's 0.1875. 0.1875. Okay, so on shape rounds it off to 0.188. Alright, so what I'd like to do here is I'd like to trim off this and this. Okay. I'm gonna do a uh, a mirror so that way I don't have to redraw this whole thing again. So we're gonna go ahead and do a mirror of this curve on the other side. All right, so the mirror tool is up here in sketch mode, it looks like this. So we're gonna click on it, and it's first asks us to select a mirror line. So luckily it lets us select this plane, or this like, I guess it's sort of like an axis right here. So that's the line we wanna mirror over. So we'll select that. See, it says top plane is what we're gonna be mirroring. Actually, we're drawing on the top plane. We're using this right plane here to mirror. It says select the entities you want to mirror. We want to mirror this curve and you can see it just jumps over and does it on the other side. Okay. So now we just have to go ahead and trim anything that is still left. So we need to trim this guy. Looks like we've got a line still left over here. We'll trim that as well. And we are ready to extrude this, I believe. Let's take a look at the uh, at the drawing here. Looks like we have this sort of thing sort of drawn out. We don't have the middle part yet and that's okay. We want to go ahead and extrude a very small amount, only 0 0.013. So we'll come back over to on shape, finish our sketch, and we're gonna do an extrusion. 0 0.013, very thin. It doesn't look like we even extruded at all, but we have, you can, you can see there is some level of extrusion there. So we've done it, we've done the extrusion. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. So you have the bottom part of the band-aid. We need to now draw the, um, the pad portion. Of the, so we'll go ahead and we'll sketch on the top of the band-aid. Looks like if we look at the top plane, we'll be able to do what we need to do. All right, so we wanna center this uh, the pad on the uh, band-aid. Luckily, we have our axes kind of splitting up our band-aid and this little point right here should be the center of our band-aid. So if we choose a center point rectangle, we should be able to center exactly where we want it. So let's choose the center of the Band-Aid as the center of the pad. We're gonna come out and we're gonna make sure that when we come out here that this is highlighted. This edge of the Band-Aid is highlighted. That way our pad goes all the way to the edge. The only thing left is to change this length dimension to what we want. So we'll kind of come back over here to the drawing and we're gonna see that 1.0625 is the width we want. So it's a little too long right now. We want it to be 1.0625 and there we go we have our rectangle in the exact spot and we have it also at the right length here 
So the only thing left now is to go ahead and extrude this out and then kind of round the edges off. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll select the extrude tool. We'll click on our band-aid. Whoa, that's way too high. So we need to make this a lot smaller. So let's go ahead over and look at, there it is. We'll look at the dimension that we need. So it's gonna end up being this full thickness of 0.32 minus the small thickness of 0.013. So we can get just the thickness from here, kind of like that way. All right, so 0 0.032 minus 0 0.013. All right, let's see if we can remember that. 0.032 minus 0 0.013. There we go, perfect. All right, so we're real close now. The only thing is that this little edge here needs to be rounded off on both sides, this little edge here and this edge over here. So we'll look at the dimension again, and that is a fillet. It's a 3D fillet, and the radius of that fillet is 0 0.06 inches. All right, so let's go over here. We'll go to our fillet tool, our 3D fillet tools right here. And we gotta be careful. We can't select the whole thing. We just wanna select this side and we'll select the other side. And our radius I believe was 0.06. That's what it was. Let's double check that. 0.06 right here. Perfect. All right, so we'll go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Take a look at our Band-Aid. Looks good, we'll select isometric and there is your band-aid.